Hey! Apparently I'm going through a curly hair phase. I go through these phases where I straighten my hair, and then I go through phases where I curl my hair. So we're in the curly hair phase of life, so hope you like it. Anyway, what I want to talk about in this video is 2015 is approaching. It's gonna, it's coming up. It's in a few days. Um, we're going to be in a whole new year, and uh, that means the first three months I'm going to be running 2014 on everything, so that's exciting. We always look forward to that. Um, but for 2015, you know, obviously everybody makes, you know, what am I going to do differently in 2015? You know, we all talk about that. And um, last year, for 2014, I had kind of promised myself I was going to have more fun. I was going to let loose a little more. I was just going to, you know, step outside of my comfort zone more and do more, have more adventures. And I still want to do that in 2015, especially because I have that awesome bucket list that I want to complete with a bunch of activities that I never you know, I always thought would be cool, but I never, I guess, I just never made it happen. So in 2015, it's definitely that drive to make these things happen, to have the best time. I want to laugh more in 2015 than I did in 2014, which is going to be hard because I laughed a lot in 2014. I mean, I laughed a lot in many years, but 2014, I, I, see, I think I laughed a lot in 2014 more than any other previous year. I can't say that for sure. I don't have the statistics or, you know, I, I, I or the stats to back that up, but I'm just guessing. So 2015, I want to up the ante, and I want to laugh even more than I did in 2014. I want to have more adventures than I had in 2014. It's going to be that's a lot to live up to because 2014 was pretty great, but um, I can do it. I mean, I have that bucket list. Of course I can do it. Why the hell not? But for 2015... So I'm not repeating what I picked last year, for, you know, for the year 2014. The theme of 2015, I want it to be all about love and not romantic love necessarily. I mean, it that'd be great, but I just want 2015 be, to be filled with love. I want to be doing things that I'm loving the moment. That I'm like, wow, I love this. I love that I'm doing this. I want to be saying that all 2015, and I want to be surrounded by people. I love this person. This person is just, I'm so happy they're in my life. I just want 2015, the theme, to be love. Love in every way, love in every, you know, um, way of expressing it. You know, I want 2015 to be the year of love for me. You know, loving myself which I do. I, you know, I, I'm not trying to say it to be presumptuous or conceited, but I really do love myself. And I can say that because I didn't always love myself. I mean, I used to be a kind of eh person. I got to be honest with you. I'm not afraid to admit it. Um, I, there was nothing really extraordinary about me for many years, but now that's changed. And I really like who I am. I love who I am. I have a lot to offer and I'm excited about it. And, uh, I'm happy with myself. I'd be best friends with me. I'd date me. Hell yeah, why wouldn't I do that? But anyway, getting off topic here. 2015 is going to be the year of love. It's going to be the year where I find things to fall in love with, activities, um, hobbies, just interests, places even. You know, go to places that I just, I love this place. Oh my gosh. Or, you know, whatever it is, I really want to fall in love with the year 2015 and be surrounded by the people who love me and I love too and just have a great time with them and laugh more than we did in 2014 together. Um, and yeah, absolutely. I, I'll admit it. In 2015, I do hope I find a romantic love in my life. You know, I'm not going to put too much pressure on that because I feel like when you put pressure on finding the right person, it's like you're pushing them away from you. So I'm just going to stay open. I'm going to keep loving, loving my life, loving what I'm doing. And I'm sure that the right person will come into my life at the right time. I'm confident in that. I wouldn't be surprised if I meet someone in 2015 who I, you know, genuinely fall in love with and they fall in love with me and, we, you know, we end up together. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. I feel that that's definitely a possibility and I'm going to keep myself open to it. I don't know who he is or where he is or, you know, a, maybe I met him at the grocery store the other day. I just missed him. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But either way, 2015, it's going to be about love, loving what I'm doing loving every moment, loving the people I'm with, and just loving my life and loving who I'm becoming. Because I definitely, over the last, I'd say 
say three years. I've really grown. I've really developed into the person I am today, and I'm proud of who I've become. I've really, I went through dark times. I went through rough times, and now look at me. I'm great. You know, I feel good about where I'm headed, and I feel good about who I am. And I wouldn't be here, but I've been through that. And what got me through that is the love of you know people who cared about me. And I want to extend that love that was given to me to other people. And I just want to put out all the love and I want to fall in love with my life. And definitely I want to build a life in 2015 that I will continue to love. You know, just keep growing, keep developing, keep improving as a person and making positive changes in my life that are good for me, that are good for me. You know, I've definitely been getting better about, you know, I work out a lot more. I go to the gym pretty much every day. I run on the treadmill like at least 20 minutes. Um, on an incline, and I do. I've been incorporating weight training and stuff in to feel, you know it's, to get ready for tough mutter is kind of the incentive, but just to feel good about myself because I you know I really like the way I look. I love you know everything. I feel like I'm a lot more attractive all of a sudden. You know, so I'm definitely riding that wave, and I I'm doing things that I never thought I would do, and I'm doing it with people that are just they're the shit. They're just the shit, and I love them. And they love me, and it's great. And I've been laughing a lot, and, you know, the kind of laughs where you can't breathe, and that's fantastic, and I'm happy about it. So 2015, I want it to be all about the love, building a life I'm in love with, loving myself, loving the people in my life, appreciating the right people, and meeting more people who, who I can extend love to. And, you know, maybe if, you know, maybe if things work out, I'll find the right guy to fall in love with and he'll fall in love with me and it'll be a wonderful thing. I don't know. Maybe if it doesn't happen, it's not a total loss. And I don't need a man to be happy. I don't need a boyfriend to be happy. I love myself enough. But, you know, that would be an extra bonus to find that kind of love as well. So 2015, let's make it all about love. All you need is love. You know, let's do that. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited for 2015. I think it's going to be a good year. 2014 was great. Um, but I think 2015 is going to have a lot of exciting surprises for me and a lot of unexpected um, blessings. Just a lot of good things are going to happen that I didn't see coming that end up being perfect for me. Um, great opportunities, great people, um, and great relationships. I really feel that. And um, I feel if I feel that, if I sense that, I feel it's going to happen. And I've been definitely seeing the signs of it now. Um, a lot of things that have been happening over the last few weeks just really seem to be pointing me in the right direction. And I've just, I, I feel like I'm on the right path and everything's working out for me. And 2015 is going to be a stellar year. It's going to be a kick ass year. So just got to work at it, make it happen, and keep, keep up with the ch positive changes I've made in my life. And, you definitely get that bucket list going. Get do more traveling and just spending more time with the most fun people I know and meeting more fun people and making new memories and finding new experiences and hobbies I like. So I'm excited about that. So let's make it happen and uh, we'll see what twenty we'll see what 2015 brings and then uh, we'll see what you know I want for 2016 a year from now. All right, sounds good. Ha, ha, ha.